economic inequality, I think um, higher minimum wages are helpful. Of course, uh, I mean, if you have a welfare state that redistributes incomes, uh, it might be helpful. And, but the question is, how do we get there? And if we have a lot of political inequality, so I would probably start with the politics and uh, think about measures that make voter turnouts, for example, more equal. Um, one measure that isn't very popular is uh, mandatory voting or compulsory voting. But we know it does have an effect on the level of uh, turnout and also on the equality of turnout. So um, uh, you might want to start there. There are good reasons to do it because, I mean, wealth is so much more unequally distributed than income. I mean, uh, we have a lot of income inequality, but that's really dwarfed if you compare it to wealth inequality. So I think there are good reasons to do it. But I mean, even if you tax the highest 1% very highly, that's probably not enough to redistribute to the entire society. But it's one measure among others that you should probably um, do. I think it affects participation to a large extent. People who are overwhelmed with their everyday problem normally focus on that, what is absolutely normal and natural. Reducing working hours, having free education, having free kindergarten, having enough kindergarten for all, for all of them, really coping the, the everyday problems um, in, in, in Germany is the issue of caring for the elderly and so on and so on. A minimum wage is helping, a fair wage is even better, so really giving the people the means financially and socially to organize their life, that is key. I think that the most important is that in the com campaigns we are combining honesty, social justice and also emotions connected with real stories from real people. We have to do something with uh, our social democratic parties. Uh, the last 20, 30 years uh, we became some kind of allied club. Uh, we are talking about uh, the society issues and problems uh, but uh, somehow uh, we can't uh, uh, sell our good messages uh, to those people who need us. I think when we're looking at a world as well where you've got kind of the rich getting rich and the poor getting poorer and a lot of people simply can't engage with politics and democracy because they don't have the ability, they don't have the means, they don't have the time to do that. Actually, it's a luxury to be able to engage. So what we do at Involve is we make sure that anyone who's involved in any of our processes, that they get, they get reimbursed for it, we pay them for it, because if they're taking time off work, if we've got a young parent on a zero hours contract, we want to recognize that the time they spend with us doing democracy is recognized. We also make sure that we have personal assistance, childcare, different ways to make sure people can actually engage. 